Well, welcome back everybody to a new LP. This is going to be the Ascaris Empire LP. So, we get to start it up today. This is the uh, this is the very first episode of this. So, um, yeah. So, welcome back everybody. Um, yeah, let me get uh, get the chat up here real quick. And uh, should be good to go then. All right, cool. Okay, so I was hoping that color was going to work out, but I guess I have to change it. Let me change this to a different color here so I can see it's a little better. I don't know which one's going to be the best, though. Well, yellow kind of works. I could go with light blue. Which light blue might be the best? Or just flat out white. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> okay, so I think everything should be good to go. Let's start up the game. I'll turn on my volume. I'm going to crack a beer, and we're going to be ready to rock and roll. So let me see what, uh, what else was I going to do here. All right, let me put this over here. And okay, should be set. Let's do this. New game. All right, so there's some new things that are going to be going on for this stream here. So I've got uh, I, th I replaced the uh, the monster picks with a personal challenge from everybody. Everybody gets to get me one challenge though, so so I can move on with the game so it's not uh, it, it doesn't like pull me back too far. But um, everybody will be able to give me a personal challenge. Um, beyond that, up on the top right, there are night picks uh, for you to choose from. Um, you know, for one of the, for the final fight. So you'll get to choose knights for the final fight. So yeah. Forcing a story, easy challenge, unlimited time, knight is a moderate challenge, six years, and king is difficult challenge, six years. All right, going with king, and yep. All right, we already did Omekia, and if people are tuning in now, they're wondering, you know, what's been going on so far. Uh, if you haven't seen most of my LPs, I've done almost every single LP so far with Grand Edition. So I just did do Neomachia. I did not do Norgard yet. I have it on a different channel that I did Norgard. But not for this channel. I did Leonia. I did Escalio. About to do Escares. Carleon, that was the first one. But we're going to go with Escares here. So, yep. Uh, a young nation forged by rebellion under the military emperor is a Mechus. It brings misery and the fire of war to Fresina. So that's what we want. Yep. <laughs> that's what we want. <laughs> oh, man. Are you sure you want the challenge to get shred? Because I don't know if I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to even do that. That could, that, could take a, that could take so much longer to do just to get shred. And I already got shred before with... Uh, what... With a Scalio, already already got shred. With a Scalio, I'd have to back up all the way and then lose uh, Kador and a need and other stuff, and I probably might lose uh, some cutscenes too with that. So I don't know if I want to. My lord, it's been a year since you killed the king of Norgard in battle. It allowed us to take significant territory from his successor, Vinard. A great victory for Almechia 
against our mortal enemy Norgard. The continent's peace and Omekia's glory, it's all thanks to you, General Zemeckis. Bah, someone like you wouldn't come here to tell me that. As you say, certain influential people have grown jealous and poisoned King Hengist against you. My lord, the king has issued a warrant for your arrest. The charges, treason. Ridiculous. I've done nothing but fight for the glory of Omekia, and this is how I am repaid? They must die for such a betrayal. I've made arrangements, if you so desire. Bastard. Are you saying I should actually rebel? My lord, what else can you do? The king deserves death for his treachery, and you would make a better king. Damn it. Ha ha ha. My lord. Zemeckis. The king. Interesting. So be it. I will not sit by and let others decide my fate. I will take the power. Battle is my life. There is no mercy for those who stand in my way. Gador, assemble the army. Those royal pigs who lounge in the palace will see my power. Yes, my lord. But the effects of a rebellion would go beyond Elmechia. The instability might spread war across Forsina. Does Kador the Death Knight find that appealing? Brief confusion is a small price for a great king to rise to power. But if such a war did happen, I'm sure your majesty would conquer the entire world. Then follow me. Well, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do with the challenges. Uh, everybody can throw a challenge at me. That's fine. You know, if you want that challenge for me, I'm just going to have to say, I'm sorry, dude. I'm just going to fail that one because I, I don't, uh, I don't want to backtrack that far just to pick up one character, which I already, I already did with the Empire before. So I already unlocked Shred with Escalio. Um, and, uh, that could change some of the story components. I don't know, but, uh, I'd like to show all the story features if, if I could. So. Yep. So we are the Empire. We are the Ascaris Empire here. Um, now i got to figure out what I want to do for teams and where I'm going to go. I've got a pretty good idea, though. I have a pretty good idea. I think I'm going to strike north hard and fast right now. So... I think um, we'll see how many people I have, what teams I'm going to assemble, and where we're going to place them. So I think, first of all, I want to go north, so we're going to basically send Zemeckis north, because I'm going to level up uh, my own personal team uh, to fight the snake. And, um, and you're going to help me choose a team, or no, I'm sorry, um, Bulnar. You're going to help me choose a team to fight Bulnar, or the snake. Is what I meant to say. So that's what uh, you need to try to help me to do. Um, and so yeah, let's see. Where are you? You got to be here. All right. So got Myra Malay coming over here. Um, as Marie, where should I put you? Yeah, I'd like to try to see all the stories and see what we can get with that. If I were to try to get him, I might maybe do like an off-screen thing and then come back here and get the whole thing rolling, but it might have to be after it's all said and done. Um, you know, uh, you know, after I'm about to... Uh, uh, when would that be? I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work out well here, man. Um, I'm just not sure. 
because I'd have to go down to like two castles or something like that. Or I'd have to, yeah, I'd have to be really low in castles. kador has got to be gone. And then, um, and then I got to lose Lagrins and then take it back. So, I, I, like, I'd have to basically go back to the beginning or, or worse than the beginning as far as territory is concerned. And then just come out and do it all over again. That would take a long time to do a, a live stream of that because I have to lose all my territory. And then recapture it all back. So either I do it right this very moment, or I do it later on, and then it it just costs mo so much more time to come back and take all these castles. So, um, I think that particular component for this, I'm gonna just skip over because I already did get it with the Escalio LP. Um, so, yeah. Uh, sorry, Nick, but if you want a different challenge. Definitely um, offer me a different challenge. If that's a challenge you really want, I'm sorry, man. I'm going to have to fail that one because I, I can't. Uh, um, there's only so much time I, that I want to put into this LP, and that could really, really suck up a lot of time. I don't think there is a cutscene for Shred. I think I unlocked him, and there wasn't a, really a cutscene. Uh, you just. Uh, if there is, it's like super brief because I don't remember it. I could go in my recollection and see if I can find it. And if I can find a cutscene for Shred, if I can find the part for it, then I might play that, you know, on the live stream. But uh, that'll have to be probably later. Not right this very moment. But um, yeah. Hey, welcome, Spider. How you doing? Siraha? Yeah? Well, you can also vote on the top right. You know, I've got um, the drop-down list, and whoever starts to get, you know, slotted into the position of being chosen as one of the knights, as far as the vote tallies go, those are the ones that are going to be um, going. So I've got the, uh, I've got a voting list on the uh, Brigandine.engine site too. Uh, you can vote for there. You can also pick on the icon tab, the little tab up there, vote for it. And usually later on, like throughout the week, I come by and I look at the tab and it tells me who's voted for what and how many votes are for what particular thing. And uh, it's always nice. It's very simple, very easy for me, you know? Um, but, uh, yeah. Oh, you seeing some spiders? I wish I had some spiders. I, I've got a few flies that are hanging around. Get, spider, can you uh, drop me some spiders off? They can go eat these flies that are bugging me. Ah, so, anyways, uh, let me let me um let me figure out what I'm gonna do because this is like really this is where everybody gets lost playing as scars because you have to try to hold so much territory to start, and um, you've got a lot of knights, but you can't you can't really get a lot of knights playing as the Empire. I think you can only get certain quest knights. I don't know if Cortina comes to the Empire. I know there's a little... Uh, isn't there like a little fight scene between them or something? I don't remember. But um, most of the other knights will not go to the Empire. I just won't. Because uh, they hate them. I guess. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, I've got to choose who's going where. And. Kador, you can. I don't know, maybe you should wait there because I want to take the Vampire Lord off of you. Give it to Zemeckis. It's a perfect opportunity for it. And the Hellhound, too. I think I could, like, move you around. So I think Kador will wait right there. Meltorphus. You can be there, too. Along with a need. Well, I don't really need a need right there right now. So I have to defend here, 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 and here. So we need another knight over here. I think we'll throw Ivan over here for now. Or maybe Esmeri would be good. As Marie would be great here, actually. Let's put her there. And I'm just worried about this place, because this place is going to get packed. It's 
some pretty good stuff. So I'm going to need something here. But what to put there? That's the thing. Well, Solia, I guess you're coming over here, buddy. We're going to need you there. We're going to need some good heals. Um... I guess you're going to have to stay there for now. And how are we looking so far, location? I've got Kador sitting here. Ivan can go somewhere. Where can Ivan go? So I've got Carnaboon locked up. This will be okay. It's not great, but this will be okay. So i got to pull some of the Yorsa, so maybe... Oh, Ragnus is all truth. That's right. Is that right? Okay. Let me know if you can hear me okay or if I'm too low or whatever. Because um, it's hard for me to tell. Sometimes I come back later and it's, you know, too loud. <laughs> I don't know. Um... Dispose of Caster to to Omechia? No, man. Never. Oh, you, but you might be right. I might have to move him. Because I think if he uh, sees Legel, he's going to go. Let's see. Who else is just hanging around? Let's see. We should probably move Caster with... Uh, Caster... With who? That's a good team. I, I like this team. That's good. Probably my Carnaboon team. So, this is like super powerful though. I think I'll switch Caster with Sarah. Siraha. I think I'll do that right now. So yeah, but you know, if if I finally get something picked for one of the for the final fight that you're going to help out with also help with the leveling as far as the suggestions and stuff goes and so if you want to debate that and vote on that you can go ahead and do that too that's perfectly fine I don't mind at all um, so yeah I'd be cool with that too I don't mind the casters at 8 I would like him to do some battle so I think if Miguel meets him I think they'll fight each other. I think they might. I don't know if Miguel is going to leave his territory for that. I think they only do do it for Legel or... I don't know how this... I don't remember exactly how that goes, but... I think I should be okay. I think I should technically be okay. Um... Okay, so she's good there. Yeah, she's pretty good. Nope, I have in the description down below, dude, if you didn't get to see it. Um, you get to give me a challenge, but you gotta think about it. Um, not gonna worry about unlocking Shred here, I already did that before. Uh, that would take, that, that would take a, a lot longer to get through this LP. Um, to do that because I'd have to basically go back to square one and then come all the way back. I don't I don't think I have the time for that unfortunately, so um, But any other kind of challenge you're thinking about you know Go ahead and offer me it if I can do it. I'll accept it if I can't I'll just say well I can't I failed that one I guess I can't do it or you know if I try and I just can never do it till the end like if I can't if I can't complete the challenge at all and I finish the game, then I'll have, then I'll have failed it. But I will attempt, I will attempt challenges. So, yep, I will give them a try. See what we can do. 
So, I guess... One of the final fights is going to have a Tiamat. I've already got 729 hit points with this one. So I might be able to max out with 999. I don't know. I don't know. Got some Hell Dogs. I don't know if I'm going to use all that. Uh, the monsters were, were fun to do. But if I'm going to try to do some, you know... I, I want to try to plan out my monster attacks. And it's, uh, it's so crazy how many different ones I had the last time. It was hard to put together, like, an idea, you know, the best way to go about it, but... It was it was a fun challenge, but... Let's let's check out Kador. Okay, so... 28,000, uh, or 2,897 experience to go to max you out. Ah... Uh, Does it need any word near? I, I kind of want uh, Mount Torfus and a need on the same castle, though. Just for a while. I can't remember how that scene's supposed to go, but... Let's see. Hey, where is Irvin going? Where are you going? Yeah, you can give me a challenge now, or you can uh, you can wait till later if you want. Think about it. Um, but also, the sooner you give me the challenge, the more opportunities I have to complete it. But you know, I'll see if I can do them. You know, been able to complete a lot of challenges so far. So uh, let me look at my location again. I just need to. I think I'm just gonna move, and I'm not gonna attack. But I need to know what is statistically really weak so I have to stock that up a little bit okay maybe a need definitely Yorsa Yorsa Salisbury so I got I got a stock up on Yorsa but wait isn't everybody just moving to Yorsa let me see who's moving to Yorsa okay so these two are moving to Yorsa so wait just Irvin here Okay, let me... See, I only got 800 um, to work with right now. I only got 800 to work with. You know, because I'm actually be flopping around some monsters here, I could probably get rid of these monsters and give it to... Give it to him. But which ones, though? Dragon, maybe? Yeah, that works. Yeah, that should work. Okay. And then Salisbury needs some knights, but I think Salisbury's sticking around, so I don't think Salisbury's even moving. Uh, let me look. Yeah, nobody's moving here, so let's let's uh, let's organize Salisbury, and then we should be good to start rocking and rolling here, I guess. So, hope everybody's doing well tonight. Let's see if this will work. Might. Uh, it works down there, but it doesn't work up here. That's right. So, all right, Spider, you're talking about a hard challenge, but I might. Go. Nick wants to go to Korea. What did I miss? Did I miss some of the chat? What, what the hell's going on, Nick? You have friends in Korea? Is that it? I don't know. Get Shootlius? Well, I, I don't know. We'll see if we can. I don't think uh, I don't think we can, dude. I don't remember. I don't remember if he joins you if you if you attack for. I think it's basically you have to beat the Empire first, and you'll go to that team. But I don't know if the Empire can get him. Totally forgot about Shootlius if it's possible. Um, a three-tier merman. You mean the Poseidon? So you want me to get a Poseidon, okay? All right. Well, if that's if that's your challenge, I'm gonna write it down because um, this will help me out. I can't remember this. Yeah, 
put it on this page here. Okay. <laughs> really, Nick? That's what you want? <laughs> to one-shot a leader at full health with the Tempest Bow. I think the only leader I could do that to is Cortina. Which is funny, because... Um, it might work, but I'd have to power myself up and I'd have to weaken the hell out of her and hope that that worked. I don't know if that's going to happen, man. If you really want me to try it, I can give it a shot, but literally give it a shot. <clears throat> but I can't guarantee, you know. But you know, challenges are not meant to be easy. So, Poseidon for Siraha, which is a good challenge. Because they're, they're kind of hard to level up. I think if you really want that for challenge, man, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'll try. If that's what you really want, I can try it out. But um, I don't know if it's possible, really. I mean, I'd have to have Fury on, they'd have to be weakened, and they'd have to have a really, really low amount of hit points. And the only leader that I could do that to would be green, which would probably be Lance. So maybe Lance, it would work on Lance. But that is an interesting and really cool challenge. I'll have to give that a shot. So I think Lance is the candidate. Lance is going to have to be the candidate for that because I just did the LP with Lance, and uh, unfortunately, he's going to have he's going to probably be the one to take the arrow because he's green. So. I guess, I guess I'll see if it'll happen, I guess, man. We'll, we'll give it a try. Um, once I got 180 here, and I could do something else with this. So 180 is... Well, three Wyverns would be great. And I think I can only afford two. So I'm a little boned here. <laughs> Six years to do it, okay. <laughs> Kill any two tier or three tier monster within the first two attacks. Okay. Alright, we'll see if we can do that, Vakos. If you give me an easy challenge, I can clear pretty fast, maybe. We'll see if it we'll see if it works. got three challenges so far that's not too bad um, you know I'm gonna have to move them around these guys can't stay here they're, they're they're okay but they're not like the best so you move over there Escalados you're gonna have to come over here we're gonna have to defend against Kai with him and what else is... who's going where? Who's Who was supposed to go to Carnaboon? Okay, Esmerie. Was it Caster? I think it was Esmerie, Caster, and Escalados. I think. Is that it? I think that's what I had planned, yeah.
Yup, that should do it. Okay, I think we're set. I think we're set to go. Don't want quest to, I don't want to quest anybody right now. I really can't. Can't afford to. Not until I get my teams all set up. And I, I still have to move around uh, Kador with Esmeri and Meltorphus. Which I will probably be putting them on a team on one castle that will probably be helping out with my salt somewhat. So they'll get the fight a little bit. Not too much. I do want Meltorphus to level up at least to like a, a samurai, I think. I think that would be perfect for him, actually. So... Huh. It could, it could happen. Man, yeah, it could happen. Alright, so... Let me just gander over this real quick. And... Okay, so here are in need. That will work for now. Yep, it's looking pretty good. Okay, Irving. I think Irving might be able to class. Didn't he hit? Wasn't he close enough? No, he's nowhere near. Jeez, he's a baby. Irving's the baby of my of my LP here. Level three, Pyro. All right, let's hit execute. Hey, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Jordan? Isn't it, uh, isn't Ascaris one of, uh, is, isn't Ascaris one of your favorite, uh, nations, Jordan? Because, uh, we're going to be playing that today. So hopefully it's one of your favorites, because I'm going to be here a while. Um, going to do the first save ever of this. Goodbye, Lance. Hello, Zemeckis. Start up with Zemeckis. That was a fun thing with Lance, though. I had such a I had such a good battle with those final battles with Lance. It was so nice and relaxing to finally get some some easy battles with the snake or the or bull Nile. It was so nice to get it, you know. They want me to fail. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know, it could happen at some point. I don't know when that'll happen, Nick, but if it happens at some point. It I think it'll. I, I think that'll be the end of the world. The world will end if that happens, and um, you know there won't be any more Brigadine to watch. So, well, I guess until that happens, we can still enjoy Brigadine. So, all right. Uh, can I attack anything though? I really, I don't think I can. Well, I got three here. I could attack the very first turn. I could attack the very first turn. Should I? I don't know. This looks pretty powerful right now, especially with the salamander there. I do have one healer though, so they don't have they don't have a lot. What could I attack with if I did? Just Irving. Attack with Gish. Well Do I have the spells needed for that though? Because I might. I know the extra blast would be like a hell of a, you know, a hell of a spell to do. It's possible, man. It's possible. Just really, 
I'm a little cautious at the moment because I'm just I just need to see what what exactly I could do because I don't know if it's gonna happen right now well the thing is there's two different challenges going on so one of them is to kill a leader at full health which this isn't so bad his intelligence is really terrible right now so if he gets in the front lines I could extra blast him then that could work but um, the other one is to kill a high level uh, level two thing so it's either kill the salamander or kill Lance so I don't know <laughs> I gotta like choose between what to kill here and I don't know if I can kill the salamander I probably could kill Lance I probably could focus on that but the door can go Ivan Meltorphus This is just too much here, though. Um, well, I could I could complete the challenge. I could attack Biter, just kill the one little Efridi, and get that done, and then go kill Lance and get that done. I could do a dual assault. I don't know if I'll totally win over all the Jukes, but I don't know what I got for my team though. I don't have a lot here really. It's it doesn't look very promising. No, that's... I'm not even going to get... I, I might be able to kill that thing, but I have no healers whatsoever. So if Kador goes down, or anything else goes down, it's, uh... It's down. I think I'm going to have to negate that attack right now. I, I just don't feel very confident right there. Just don't. Sorry. I don't really want to just give him experience just for, just for the fun of it right now. I have time for that Valkos challenge, though. Yeah, I know. And Valkos, you gave me some time for that, so I could probably do your challenge next. But I think I'll try Nick's challenge here. We'll see. I it all depends on where they line up Lance. And because Lance is the leader, he might never come out to the front line. So I could lose just by default of him just sitting back on his rear not doing anything um you know because they've got Garrett there they've got Alicia these two don't count right now and they, they've got a good they got a good team you know to defend so we'll see how they play it if if I can play my hand right I might be able to do it but if not well I'll have to try it later Nick Nick so see if you can get your challenge done here all right, so let's location. This is cool because you'll you'll almost never see hardly any of my LPs me attacking immediately. Um, the only besides Norgard, if you go to my other channel, and you watch my other video of the Norgard LP. I do attack with Norgard right away. I actually attack the Empire there on uh, Lydney, and I just I'll burn up all my monsters to take that castle. I love I just love doing it. It's fun. It's always fun to do that, you know. But, um, okay, we'll give this a try. Let's do it. So, Camel Ford Castle. Yeah, he's way in the back. Irvin, why would why did you betray Almechia? Um You've always been a team. You know me better than anyone. Why? Yes, I know you. The agony of losing your homeland and father. Everything. Then join me against Amechus to restore Almechia. Always so sure you're right. You're sure Zemeckis is evil? Sure, restoring Omeki is good. But if you gave up, how much blood would be spared? Is the Omekia name worth it? Irving, what are you saying? I guess you'll think I'm a traitor. 
but I was never really on your side. Irving, are you my enemy? You got it right. Now fight, Prince. Man. The betrayal is thick with this one. <laughs> Either that or Lance was uh, just sort of gullible and thinking he was just his friend or something. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, I think Valkos plays all the Warhammer games, which I had never really played before, so I am at a uh, very small amount of knowledge for that. I don't really know much when it comes to that stuff. Okay, so this is going to be tricky because I got to get... What sucks about this, though, is I got to get them all together and find a way to, to lure Lance out to do an extra blast on him, which I don't think that's even going to kill him, but... Uh, whatever. I'll give it a try. <laughs> I just don't see the numbers working for me. I think 446 hit points is 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 too much to ask for. For that, I think it. I think maybe like if I bolt attacked uh, Cortina, maybe, maybe that would work. But still, she's got higher intelligence than Lance right now. Possibly. Don't fully remember. If I could weaken him, which I don't think that's going to work. I just don't know if it's going to work, Nick. But we'll give it a try. Why not? Just for fun. We shall give it a try. Okay, we've got Little Debbie on our team. Alright, what are you going to do? I think I have a good chance of taking this castle, believe it or not. It's going to be risky, though. I probably will lose some monsters in that in the process. I'm almost positive I will. Plus to try this kind of tactic I'm gonna have to lose some monsters for it. So... Very, very probable. Oh yeah, the ghouls are gonna come out. Okay, so it looks like the battle's already starting. So, I guess we'll see, you know? If Lance comes right out to the front, then uh, that would be probably a godsend, but... my position right here. Don't like it at all. Lance got closer though. He's pretty close. He might do a bolt attack from there, so I think I'll just I think what I'm gonna do is try to lure him in a bit more. If it's even possible, well I guess we'll see, you know. Uh Okay, where you can bolt attack from one, two, three. We have to pull you, put you. Let's put the dragon in the front. That's what they're there for. All right, you need to go around that way. This might be the best way to do it. We'll see.
I think Garrett might be able to hit something. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna have to back up Irving though. I don't think I have a choice in the matter. I uh, probably could kill Garrett possibly. Wow, they didn't even attempt. Oh, they didn't even attempt it really. Wow, that's nuts. Okay, Irving could die in the process, but yeah, yeah, he probably will. I don't see how I'm gonna protect him really. I don't. I don't see it. Either I back up or I die. Because <laughs> I'm gonna. Because I can blast him with something, but he doesn't have. I don't, well, he doesn't have extra blast. I can do some magic, but it's not that good. I'm probably just gonna have to pull him back and hope that nothing kills him at this point. You know. Um. Guess we'll find out. Oh my gosh. Oh, they just gummed up the whole front line. I was hoping Lance could get in there. Maybe a little bit, but I don't know if it's going to happen. And Lance is still lower than Irving, so... I really can't even go anywhere. Let's see, what do we have for a need though? She's 11. Number two is. Could get away scot free, but it's still a big risk. I don't think I'm getting this demon out alive though. Well, I could get rid of the angel. <clears throat> but I'd like to hit Garant too. I don't know how to hit Garant though with something really big. I do have my magic when he gets here though, but I really want Lance to get in here. How is this gonna work? Ah, <sighs> well. I might have to stay right here. If I go here, I might get blasted with a Divine Ray. Still gonna get hit pretty hard from some other things. Well, Flame Attack would still hit me too. Yeah, so he could still hit me with that. Um... <laughs> no good places for him, really. I, I'm... I'm, uh... Probably boned. That's three spaces for an ice, or, or no, that's two spaces for ice slash. So yeah, it could get inside still and hit me up even harder. I really can't get Irving out alive. This is like the only good spot, really. And this is it. So 
So one, two, three. If I can heal him up in time, we'll try it like that. Otherwise, this is going to be tough. There we go. That's nice. Okay. Alright, well she's going to do one last curse. I think they'll still get to Irvin though. But, um... We can't have Lance healing anything either. So, Lance would go into heal mode to heal up this angel, which would suck. I want him to get closer. Unless I can kill him. But who goes first? Well, I will go first with this. So, I could definitely kill the angel if I curse it. And then I blast it. So... Yeah, I'm probably going to do a uh, Geno Bolt here to hit all these things here. And I think I'm going to get rid of the Angel. Because we need to get rid of this Angel. We can't have we can't have too many of these things. And this thing could this thing could do a lot of potential damage to me right at the moment. So I think that's the way to go. I know I gotta find something to put in front of it. Gish goes first though. So if I got something with Gish, I could probably pop something there. This is a super risky battle, you know. I'm just doing this to try to get the challenge done, but I'm not particularly doing this to see if I can get the ultimate win, because I don't really want to be here too much anyways. Oh uh, geez, yeah, there's the heal. I forgot the turns. Okay, so... There's the heal from Lance. He didn't go forward. Yep. Yeah, I don't think this is going to happen, man. Nope. Yeah, if I forget stuff like that, it's not going to work. Um... So... I will give it a try. That salamander is still staring me in the face. It's uh, looking really scary. Looking really scary. I think I'm going to black with you. And... I should definitely kill off this angel, though. Can we win? <laughs> Can we get close to winning? Or are we going to lose everybody here? Because I'm afraid I might lose almost everything here. I will lose the demon. And then uh, they'll just walk through. Unless they give... And need the chance instead of at Alicia. Uh, which is like up in the air right now. Nobody is, nobody's going to know that. So. I could probably kill off at Alicia. And that might kind of work. Might work. Because I gotta put something right here to block. So I either put the gin over here, or I put that there, but I need to block too. So I need the centaur to go blocking in the front. Irving is probably gonna die anyways. I don't think there's any way I could totally save him. I don't think there's a justifiable way. I'd need this to hit. That's a guarantee. I need you to... 69, that's not good. Bolt attack might do it. No, bolt attack won't exactly do it. If I go first, maybe. But, um, alright, Spider. Well, have a good night. Um, definitely come back and check out the rest of this if you have some time. Let me play through the whole of the Empire. What sucks if I do extra blast and I don't kill her? She's gonna get healed up pretty good.
I might have to do a genome bolt. Just to make it. Because then he might heal himself up. I have no clue. Just a basic bolt attack is going to get her pretty low, but it won't kill her. Not 300 points. Not 300 points damage. That's not going to do it. See, 190, it would have been like 270 something, but it wouldn't have been 300 points of damage on it. Wouldn't have worked. Okay, so we got a. Uh, I gotta do some type of blocking here. I have no clue if Irving can survive. I don't think he can. Oh man, and you critical my imp too. Come on. Pretty sure she's gonna get a heal. Yep. I might be able to kill her. Although that's not looking very good. Okay. All right. And I got to go first. Over her, which... Oh, wait, no, what am I saying? She just... <laughs> oh, I'm thinking I went first now for some weird reason. Uh, can I get her, though? I might be able to. Really depends on these, these couple characters here. If they can hit her... It's not going to work. I needed them all to hit her. You're not close enough for doing anything serious. Uh, we could try maybe killing the angel. Nope, ah, this isn't going to work, man. Sorry, Nick. This isn't gonna work. I don't see. I don't see how it's gonna work because I can shoot her a couple times, but it's not enough to kill her. And then Well, if Gish sticks around. That depends. Oh my gosh, this is so frustrating. I'm trying to figure this out, because I could hit her. Then Lance goes. And Lance will just sit there and heal her up. Lance won't even come closer to me. No, but Lance is going to go and heal her up. So Lance is... He's not going to move at this point. He's just going to go and heal her up. So then she'll survive. You know, because I only have two shots on her right now. That's definitely not going to kill her. And he doesn't have... Uh, and he just... Uh, she doesn't have what it takes to do it. Not 300 hit, not 300 hit points. It's not. That's uh, reaching for the heavens there. Um, let's see what the centaur does though. If I had that, if I had the wyvern hit, then I probably could have done it. But this, that's way too many points. That that's way too much for an archer to hit to get a hit, a clean hit on. That's way too much for that. Uh, and Lance has... 
one, so... Who do I need to heal? Um, trying to think about who I need to heal though, because if I if I retreat now, then Irving can retreat and then Gish can retreat safely. But I do have to heal up the front lines somewhat, so they can't totally mark it. What does Lance have though? I could hurt me pretty bad. Not too much. He could kill off the ghoul. I'm not worried about that. Uh, he could kill off the djinn, but then that would expose Irving, so I think I have to heal up Irving. That's too late, dude. He's uh, he, She's already lower. She's already lower than the 300, so yeah, the heal is coming up. Um, cause I'm trying to, I'm trying to see my damage output on this and, uh, I just don't think it's gonna work. I could have saved it, but Lance would have healed someone else up. There's, there's other things for him to heal. Um, yeah, this one's a hard one to try to figure out as far as trying to get, like, a single shot kill with a leader. Um, you know what, I think what I'm gonna do, Nick, is I'm gonna wait till later when I have a very, very powerful... I don't know, Mage or Zemeckis or something, and then try the challenge later because that just, uh, I, that is, I don't think that's going to fly right now. I just don't see it happening, man. Uh, I'm just going to go because Lancer's going to heal up the Centaur. He's going to heal up the Angel. Uh, Giga Scorpion, you know. I'm going to try that later, Nick. I'm sorry. I can't do it now. Just doesn't seem like a very good option for me. I don't want to lose too many more monsters at the moment. Um, so we'll give it a try later, though. Give it a try later. See if we can do it. I don't know when, though. I'm I'm thinking Lance is the best target, though. So I'll probably come back here with maybe Gish will be leveled up a little bit more. Possibly. Oh, geez. Now I forget about that opening. Yikes. Could they totally kill me? Yeah, they probably can now. Jeez. Yeah, this is a really, really risky thing to do anyways. Super risky. Coming in fight very, during the very, very first turn. That is super, super risky. Uh, no, I really couldn't kill him either. Uh, I could get... I might be able to get... No. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Let's kill off the angel. How about that? Level 5, level 2, what do you need? You need a kill. So, we'll do this here. Then we gotta go. It's just too much. Too much is going on here. Yeah, Nick, the only way I think, it's, I, I think I'll be able to pull this off, and it sucks now, I'm going to actually level up Lance this way, but um, it was kind of a chance to, to give, it a, give it a chance. If Lance came out to the front, you know, then that would have worked out great. Maybe. But then again, I, I really would like to have, like, a, a super solid, like, level 30 Gish, you know, in order to do, like, extra blast on him. And that would work out great. So, I don't know. Hopefully, it doesn't give him too many levels. <laughs> I don't know if he's gonna. I don't know if he's gonna beat me on any more defenses, or on any defenses. But an offense for that? Oh man, that's uh, 
That's tough. That is tough to do, dude. Okay, we're gonna take a vampire. Bunch of little doggies. Myra Malay, you're gonna get some more stuff here. Pop it there. Or maybe over there. Mm. Does this work better? A little bit. A little bit. Okay, so we got a pretty good setup for Zemeckis. That's pretty good. I'll go with that. Ivan, Meltorphus, and a Merman, so... Uh, who are we going to get rid of? I'm going to do it like this here. going to probably need you. So I got the Merman Spider. So, you're looking forward to that. I got that Merman. That's 50 points there. Oh, that won't work. I guess we can. Yeah, I guess we can do this. Yeah, this will work. Alright, so I got one team here. It'll be one of my main teams right here for attacking purposes. So, we got that. Do we have any equipment? Actually, I forgot to check all the equipment, so let's do that. Let's check out all our equipment here. All right, Gish's Dark Rope, that's... Uh, that'll be good. Maiden's Spear. Mm. Alright, we got no items either. I think... Can we quest Kador? Maybe I could just quest... The, no, you cannot quest Kador. Kador is non-questable character here right now. Um... I think I will quest... Miltorphus. And really want to quest a need we're here too. But I do need some defense. I don't know who else to quest. Might have to do Ivan. Oh man, you know, I actually got to put Ivan on that castle instead of a need. Although a need would be good. I think now we'll just leave it like this for now. We'll just leave it like this for now. Let's restock this castle here. Cuz that's a crazy dude, that is such a crazy challenge. I don't know if I'll ever complete that challenge. I think you gave me an impossible challenge, Nick. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see if it's possible. I have to like do all these intricate things to a leader to try to do that and they gotta be like a baby leader. If anything, it could be Alsace, it could be Lance, it could be um it could be Cortina, it could be but it has to be a low level leader, because otherwise I don't think it's even possible for you to get, you know, about four hundred points of damage on somebody with an outright one shot kill um in Grand Edition. In the regular game in the regular Legend of Versina, you definitely can with certain parameters. I know you can. But Grand Edition? I'll give it a try, man, but... <laughs> that one might be one I might not be able to make. So, 
I guess we'll see, you know? Alright, let's, uh... Let's check out our classing options. What can you do, Gesh? Are you... No, nothing great. I really don't want to change into nothing either. Yep, that works. Now we need... Oh, man, I think that... No. That don't work. Alright, so I have... Was that 65? 70. 35. What do I need, though, for this team? Because I might need some tanky things. If I bring Ivan over here... I have a couple tanky things. Not a lot, though. Let's get a dragon, though. Kind of need one for here. Uh, maybe a centaur. I would do a dragon and a centaur. Right, let me look at the points again. See what's going on. Alright, so that's 60 points there. Let's get, uh... Let's get some 30 pointers here. Yeah. Let's get some 30 pointers here. We'll get some protect spells going. So I don't think I have enough. I don't want to actually have any. Okay. That should work there. Let's see what we got here. We need to do something here. This is terrible. Expert. Elementist. Let's class Ragunas to a priest. Yep, we have enough. We got enough magic for all that. Let's push some stuff around. Uh, you can eat up a dragon, actually. You can eat up more than just a dragon. Is that enough? That's more than enough. Good. Alright, so we need some stuff here. Alright, well... Hopefully we'll be okay, but... <laughs> that... Trying that out cost me quite a lot, because... Now I have to spread out some mana here. This team needs a lot, but these other teams need some too, so let's just summon some really weak stuff here. Just so we have something. But I'm gonna have to summon one per castle here, because I have hardly anything left. Unicorn would work out great. Actually, I like that the best. As far as what I could pop on the teams here. Yep, yep, yep. Gotta work out. This team here is probably more prevalent. Just due to the fact that they're facing all this really tough stuff here. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get hit hard, aren't I? From Drist. Yeah. Yeah, it's a possibility. Okay, so what can we summon here? I think I can get whatever I want, though. Yeah, I should be able to get whatever I want from both castles, so I shouldn't really worry about the summons too much. Oh, geez, I don't even have the points. So that's 280, and then what can I get up here if I even do that? Oh! I might be able to handle it. Oh, geez, yeah, that's too much still. Oh, man, okay. Uh, ghouls it is. Oh, am I going to get hit hard? I'm going to get hit very hard. Next few turns. Definitely, definitely. Okay, so... So how's everybody doing? 
I know everybody's kind of watching, kind of hanging out. Sorry, Nick. I, I wanna, I wanna show off some pretty good stuff here, but that that first turn, that's that is really really tough. You gotta do everything a particular way, possibly, and uh, that's one thing I've never tried before: kill one leader in one shot. Never ever tried it, so. You know, as far as what I can remember and what I can think about, I don't know if it's possible. <laughs> I don't think I ever remember seeing anything that amazing come my way. I think Cortina... I have seen Cortina die in one shot from Zemeckis, especially on Valkus' channel. I've seen that happen. Um, you know, but... Um, Drist... Probably is going to come after me though because he's sitting tight here and I've got this army up here which isn't all that great. It's okay but it's not great enough. I don't know if it's good enough to take on some take on Drist so I don't know. I need to reestablish a team for Ghidorah though because I am going to go on the offense so whatever happens on the south here I'm not too worried about. If I get pulled back to Tora then I'll just defend Tora. I'm not too... I'm, I really am not... I'm not too worried about this. If I get pushed back to Tora, then I'll just defend it and I'll have more knights to move around to do other things with. Because trying to defend the Empire to start is a very difficult thing to do. Which is why a lot of people say the Empire is one of the hardest ones to play as. Um, the good thing is, though, with the Empire that you get a lot of good knights to, uh, to work. So... But, anyways... Uh, I have no mana left. <laughs> I am, uh, I got no mana left, so let's just check out location. Really? Yeah? I could see it. I think I've done it before, but I don't remember. I, I know I've seen, um, I think, I think I've seen, uh, Maybe the regular one, I like powered up Drist and I killed off Cortina in one shot with Drist. Um, but I know Valkos lost to uh, Cortina to Zemeckis from a powered up attack. Which shocked the hell out of him. It was something to watch because I was thinking, oh no, Zemeckis is going to one shot something here. You know, because in the regular uh, LOF edition, when you put that power spell on, you are just, you are powerful. Very, very, very powerful. No joke. No joke. So, I think I'm going to get hit almost everywhere. Oh well, doesn't matter. Got to keep pushing. Alright, let's save her up here. Let's save her up. All right, we have to attack. Ghidorah's got to come with. And Ivan kind of needs to come with, too, in case we do some more attacks. So they need to go there. And uh, that's all I really want to do. I don't know what they have here, but they probably have a lot of upgraded stuff. Let's see what Lance went up to. Lance went up to level 2. So I think he gained one point of intelligence. So hopefully he stays low enough, I might be able to come back here later and do something. But I do have to, like, use Gish to his fullest level up for that case, if we're going to do that. You know? <laughs> and this is all I got here, too. It's all I got! Kai might attack me. Oh, man, I'm going to get hit from, like, every way imaginable. Oh, Drist came over here. Okay, Nick, you were right on that one. Driss didn't attack me. But he did come this way, so... Alright, let's look at location, and... Let's attack Jukes. Escalio attacked me, though. Okay, so I did call Escalio attacking me, but I was the wrong castle. This could be, uh, this could be a good thing, though. This could be a good thing. Let's put Castor on the castle, so we can level him up a little bit. Yo, 
You have a brave spirit for a woman. I'm as GLaDOS. Yet you show no fear. It does not matter who I fight. If they are my lord's enemies, I will defeat them. A good philosophy. But you might regret it after I split you open. It's a really bold thing to say. That's all I gotta say about that. Okay, can I get surrounded here too much? I don't know. What do I got coming this way, though? Uh... Yikes. Got too many ghouls. That's one of my big problems. <laughs> too many ghouls. What am I going to do with all of them? I don't know. This is going to be kind of tough. Driss isn't here, but still. Driss might make it easier if he was here, because then I could kill him and that would be it. But now i got to contend with three different leaders that might end up staying. So... Hey, it's Uncle Fester! Cool! should do it. Uh, where can we put you? Let's go right about there. Um, yeah, that looks good. That one looks pretty good. Alright, that looks a lot better. This setup looks a whole lot better. Hopefully Castro will get some fights. I don't know. I hope that they don't go for like a stoning on him right away, because I would like to level up Castro a little bit. So that's the reason why he's right there. Um, nope, I can't move you there. Fortunately, I cannot do that. Let's put little Uncle Fester there. And that team looks pretty good. Okay, bring it on, buddy. Bring it on. Alright, so I got one, two, three. I could hit you. But that wouldn't serve my purpose too much. Force Slash. Let's hit this thing. Hopefully Escaladus will survive well in the forest here. I know he's right in the front, but... Oh, jeez. Well, I can still hit her, so that's a good thing. That's the good thing. Well, I think I'm going to get my Warshades on. 
Because I need to go to war here against them. Okay. This might be over sooner than it than I thought it would be. All right, we need to level up uh, Esmeri. I don't know if it's gonna work like that. We gotta do Divine Ray here. Nice job. Nice little frosty spell here. Oh wait, oh I could have done a halo for caster. Oh that's right. I have anything else that could hit her? Well, I don't know. Well, we'll see if he levels up. We'll give it a shot. I'm gonna pop a pop a protect on him if I get a chance. So we need to we do need to heal up uh, Escalados. All right, Camden. Good. Caster can get a hit here. Nice job, Caster. Good job. 73, I'll take it. All right, we got Caster to go. If only I could get him the kill, which I, I don't see that happening. So I can't surround. That's too much, unless I got a critical hit here. And if I could get a critical hit with something to kill this ghoul off and then move the giant over then I could trap her and get a kill, but um, Caster's gonna have to try for just a flat out attack and hope it works. So let's pop protect on him. She's level 20, well, yeah, I'll go first anyway, so that's okay. Let's put a protect spell on Caster. See if we can level him up a little bit, hopefully. Yeah, I don't know if I could have haloed. I don't think I would have gotten her low enough. 54%. Uh, that's a bit of a guess. Well, let's gamble it. Oh, and I got... Oh, and I got 91. Or 74, what? Jeez. Almost. Sixty percent? Sure. It's level eight and you've got a level twelve. Level fourteen, so I'll go right away. So 
So number two can come back here. So I think number two... Lizard Band's going to have to stay in a castle. Uh, we'll try with a giant, I guess. Let's see if you level up a giant. 32%. Let's see. <laughs> I got 54. What a, was that? 54 and 32% chance. I did it. Nice. Okay. Not too shabby. Um, we're gonna block this side of caster. Yeah. Oh, that's too much. That's just too much. I think what I'll do is gonna do an acid breath here. I'm gonna reposition. Escalados. And we'll do it like that. Unless well, repositioning Escalados is a bad idea. <coughs> oh, it might be. Yeah, that could be a bad idea. Just put Lizard Man here. Do it like this. Alright. You're preparing to move out? Moving somewhere, dude. Let me see, what could I get? What could I take down? Nice. Alright, I think that turn is done. This is all I really want to do here. I'm going to try leveling up uh, Esmeri. Get her through this Enchantress class, and uh, then we'll be pretty well set. Yep. Nice little curse coming up here. Okay, Nick. Well, hopefully everything turns out well for you, dude. Yeah, I hope everything turns out well for you, man. Try to keep everybody alive. I'm just going to do heals. Let's just do that. Yeah, where'd everybody else go? Is everybody else not really into the Ascaris Empire? Is that it? Maybe that is it. I don't know. They are the protagonists. Legend of Forcina, they are the bad guys. They still kind of are the bad guys, you know. But um, there is an underliner. There really is. I could do Holy Word and reach out and touch someone. Uh, Frost might get me two kills, though. Hmm. I think Frost probably the better option right now. Yeah, let me know how it goes, you know, if everything works out for you. Hopefully it does. Oh, I'm so close on that one, too. Almost got that. It was close. 700 is not bad. Take it. Oh, jeez. Alright. So.
<laughs> he sort of is a victim, but he, he's kind of uh, he's uh, he's kind of mean. <laughs> he can be kind of mean. He's not he's not necessarily the nicest guy, really. But technically, yeah, he's you know it's it's not all 100% his fault. I mean, he's he he is still half to blame because you know, or maybe less than half. I don't know. What would you say? What would you say it would be? Because that'd be an interesting conversation to have. Like, how wrong is Zemeckis on a, on a percentage scale? You know? Because I don't think he's on 100% to blame be, just due to the fact that, you know, Kador, Bullnoil, the whole thing, the whole nine yards. Uncle Fester's taking a hit. You know, we're we're we have so many ghouls. I'm almost wondering if I should make like a an army of vampire lords. I don't know. I wonder if I'll get the chance. I don't even know how well that'll do. I don't think it'll do that great though. Because I only have like two range. Like a, a centaur definitely has more range, you know? But Okay, we defended that. Now we can go into the attack in Jukes. Great. Well, yeah, he did believe Kador immediately, but Kador is kind of, uh, I guess Kador is his right-hand man, you know? But I guess when it comes down to warriors, you know, he's going to choose his buddy over his king every time. Seems like that, I suppose, you know? So... to feature you to bring a new order to Forsina. Bah! How dare you, White Wolf! The future is mine! You have always used violence without, discre without discretion. Calling yourself Emperor has changed nothing. Only violence wins battles. I will rule Forsina, and violence will crush all who oppose me. You cannot rule by force alone. I work to build an ideal. A battle is just a necessary step towards the final ideal. Build all you want, White Wolf. I will shatter your ideal with violence. That is interesting. Look at that. Now, I remember in the original one he kept talking about building, like Zemeckis kept talking about building an ideal state. But now I'm hearing Vinar talk about an ideal state, so I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know. I, did I miss something? I don't know. Did you let me know if I missed something, because I, I feel like I missed something here. <laughs> I almost feel like I probably did. Okay, Myra is going to spearhead this. Semeca is going to sit back a little bit. And Malay is going to be way back. Let's see how many little doggies survive this too. And yep, I captured Spit. We didn't capture Gargle yet though, so... Once we capture Gargle, we will have completed the operation. You know, I could probably throw Zemeckis in the front lines, but I don't have a single healer. <laughs> so <laughs> that might be out of the question. I could lose some stuff here, though. So I don't have any healers, so I, I don't know what's going to survive, really. I can't say. I think Vlad's gonna have to front line a little bit just just due to the fact this merman might have to sit back here. I do have some protect spells though.
This is going to be hard battle too. Because I don't have any healers. No healers. None at all. I'm going to have to sacrifice some stuff because I have no healers. It's the way it goes. Uh, could this drag out the dog? This might drag out the dog. Let's try that. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna have to work with these protect spells. Hopefully it'll uh, pan out. We'll see. It's a good thing there's some water here too. So I can utilize that. Oh, I don't know how to get there uh, the best way though. Do have the merman here who can heal up a little bit. I gotta be really careful here. Very careful. Uh, this could be the battle, man. Silver Dragon might die. But I can't guarantee anything yet, so... I guess we'll find out together, you know? Well, I'm gonna go hit the head real quick, and I'll be right back. And we'll see if they come to fight me or not. Oh, they didn't attack me yet? Oh, man. Okay. Wait, he's 13, so... Yep, he went. So, uh... How are we gonna get him out here? I might have to sacrifice a wyvern or something to get him to move towards me. I want to use his water advantage for my for my Tiamat. I've got a swamp here. It gives me a little bit of evasion. That might be enough. Whatever. I don't want to sacrifice much else. I don't have enough time, really, in this battle to do much. So let's, uh, let's do that. Okay. And we'll pull you back. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just do it like that. How about that?
I don't know if I can afford to put her in the front lines right away though. This is kind of kind of cr mission critical here. Uh, he's gonna be good there though. And Scorpion's gonna have to come out and play. little doggy can come on back uh, we'll leave you there for now mm. all I have is fury with him too so I'd love to put a, a fury attack and do something here but I really can't hit anything so I gotta wait. Gotta wait. Ooh, I like that positioning. Oh no, that's terrible. I don't like that one at all. I can't get him with a breath attack now. Not with that. Maybe the Afridi? Maybe? I think they're just going to kill off the Wyvern immediately. That's their goal. Let's kill the Wavering off. They can do it too. It's not too hard. Because I can't get out of there. There's no way, and there's no way I can uh, pop a protect on it to save it, really. So I'm just going to use it for damage, really. I think that's my goal right now. Okay. One hell dog down. Hopefully they don't do any more damage like that. I hope not. I really, really hope not. Alright, so he could probably still just frost attack this from there. Uh, or he might come to the front lines, I don't know. But I gotta move this hell dog out of the way because he can't get photon beamed. That would not be fun. Not for nobody. Uh, where to go with you? I think. Um. Just gonna pull back. Flight. Ward. I don't think any of these things are gonna help me at the moment. Put a venom on him. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh well. Alright, I got a great idea. This could hurt me a lot, too. So, I could probably go hit the Silver Dragon, Valkos, and then run the hell away. And hopefully I might be able to kill it, I don't know. Oh man. I like, gotta back away. I do, I really, really do. And another critical, okay. 
All right. I'm too far for that. Um. Oh, let's give this a shot. All right, good. Good, good, good. Come out there like that. All right, who's going to hit with magic? Really? Not too much at the moment. I could probably pop it on you. I don't know if it's going to work, though. I mean, I guess the solid is keeping you... Hardened. There really aren't any more mages here, though, and that's the only thing he could do. If he wants to go for Frost, he's going to have to do that. That's really the only thing he can do right now. Unless this, like, changes his plans and makes him come to the front line. We'll see if Viner changes his plans now, because he's got a hardened spell and he's warded, so... I don't know. I I'm hoping it might... Kind of hoping it might. Now, I don't know if there's a there's a way I can kill him right now. I think I need to leave him at his, the hit points that he's at. So, he doesn't get, you know, crunched too hard right now. So, I'll just put you over here. Just gonna kind of wait out a little bit. I'm not gonna go in too hardcore at the moment. Sort of wait it out. You know what? I think I think I'm gonna have to harden up the Vampire Lord because getting bit by that White Dragon is gonna suck. Yeah, I could breath. I want him to get closer, though. I don't want him staying there the whole time, but... Because here's the thing. If I start going after him right now, I'm going to be pushed up into his, ter his area, and that's not going to be good for me. I don't want that, really. I just don't like my position, Valkos. That's the whole point right now. I don't really care for it. So that's 98. Husk. Get my Wyvern back. But I have a better idea. I have a much, much better idea. Gonna put a hard spell on... Uh, war over here so they try to funnel them through the center see if that'll be a thing give you some flack you can have some flack dude good job all right you close enough Now we can just sit back and shoot things. This is kind of nice. Wow. That's pretty powerful. That it is. Hmm. I want to see what Viner is going to do. I don't know, man. Oh, you really are? Okay. Well, I did ward him, so maybe that'll help. I don't know. Does help a little bit. 
Every little bit counts. Unfortunately, Viner is not coming close, so... Viner is not coming close. <laughs> this was ridiculous. I'll heal up for all that damage. That's a good idea, Nick. It's a very good idea. I've done it before. I've killed the angels to get healers and stuff. Oh, come on, really? You could go for Zemeckis right there in the front, man. Totally easy. Super easy. Oh, here's some poison. There's some poison. That might do it. That might do it. Paul Mines will probably come to the front though. Yeah, he's he kinda has to. He's he's that kind of guy. He's that guy you always want in your team. That doesn't just screw around. He goes right there. Right to the front lines, just like that. Boom, he's there. Well, here is a little bubble I could kill. So they put that there. That's not bad. Oh man, now you surrounded my little doggy. No, don't do that. Don't do that. That's, that's bad. That's bad. That's evil. That's malice. Don't do that to me, please. Yum, 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 yum. They had an angel? Definitely I would kill that thing to get Divine Ray or get some heals back. I've already done that before, though. Um, you know. Bring back a healer from the dead to heal. I've done that plenty of times. It's a good tactic, actually. But it sort of depends on your play style. If you like to be more aggressive, you know, then... Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to do it. <laughs> oh, no. I could lose my little merman here. The slap of protect on him, maybe. Alright, well, Yvain, you put yourself in, like, the worst position. So, um... Yeah, that was just terrible. Totally terrible. Now, if I had a red leader, Icefall or Fallberg would work out great. But... I do have to kill this as part of my challenge. What else do I have? Well, I have that. Which could work. So I could use a breath attack on it, too. Um, we're going to go with you, though. I think I'm going to start beating down their monster somewhat, you know? And that's all I got for this team. Yikes. I'm gonna have to curse this thing up. Dude, Valkos, I need to get your challenge done and over with. Now. Got to do it. Got to do it. Because she's level 10. Level 13, level 10, then I think Zemeckis goes first. Yeah, Zemeckis should always go first. Dimension sounds pretty good right now, though. But I do have to hit him just one more time. I could do use Zemeckis for that, but I want Zemeckis for something else. Let's Geno Frost. Boom! That's a good Geno Frost right here. Yep, that'll work out fine. That'll work out just fine. Alright, so we have to put so much damage into this thing, it is insane.
Might be able to kill two of them, Bacros. Might be able to. I won't be able to keep him though. That's too low. It's not possible at this point in time. Oh man, am I getting really low? Too low. <laughs> this is too close for comfort, really. I'll see if I can uh, get a hit. I don't think it's gonna work. You know what? This could be good for the vampire lord to kill, maybe. Which I think could work. I think that should work. Unless the vampire lord brings back something, which uh, I could bring back a heat, which the healer would help. But. Oh, the healer might save that too. Nah, I'm not worried about it. I've got other hell dogs. Oh, let's do. Gotta try to level this thing up too. That's another challenge. So. Um, you should end there. Alright, so healing up on the water is always good. He's almost dead. That's nice. Pixie could go out and kill. Well, no, not really. Almost can. I do have an idea though, I could probably pull the pixie over, out of the way, have the dog go hit the unicorn, back away, what else do I have to go though, might be able to kill Yvain too, I've got so many options now, so many things I can kill. Killing a vein might be the best option, actually. And then I could probably put the merman up here. And... Possibly hit him, unless they leave all that stuff behind. That sort of depends, really, you know? No, I don't think there's any way I can kill the unicorn and the silver dragon here. I don't, I don't think there's a way. I have to pop another hardened spell. On. Um, don't know. Uh, it's either Donna or the dog, but you know what? I'd rather keep. I'd rather keep a demon class if I can. Let's do that. Well, let's do just that. All right. This has got to be this way. All right, Valkos. Challenge complete. Boom. Level two tier. Um...
They might have to get away with that because I think I have to definitely kill off Yvain like right this very moment. I think I really do. I don't think I have a choice. They might get away with the Afridi, but... One sixty, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, thanks, dude. Oh man, if if my little merman could get hundred and three points of damage off of him, wouldn't that be miraculous, you know? Well, let's try this. I can't believe I failed! There we go. Alright, uh... Now what? Mm, oh, that sucks. Oh, this has a chance of working, but let's give this a shot. No way! Level 4. Nice. Job. Oh, yes. I could still hit it up pretty hard though. Well, he can't. He can't. He can't. He can't. Wow, they have a lot of things that can't. Maybe, uh. Yeah, if he can't even. Yeah, he can't get there. Just this griffin though. Thanks, Falcos. Alright. Challenge complete. I got one challenge complete so far. It's nice. Very nice. I don't think I'm... I, I don't know if Fenrir is going to survive. Unless they do a lot of stupid stuff and they don't really try hard to kill him. Uh, he, that one Fenrir might go. But I do need to get some healers at some point for this, for this team. So I have absolutely zero. Goose egg. I have goose egg. Just give me more hit points, thanks. I'll take them all. I'll take them all. My name's Vlad. What's your name? Did I double the challenge? Oh, yeah, 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 with the Afridi. What am I thinking? Yeah. All right, so I completed your challenge twice over, Valkos, so thanks a lot for that challenge. That was very nice. That was very nice of you. You didn't give me too difficult of a challenge. Uh, I think Nick is Nick's challenge so far is the strongest possible challenge right now. So I want to be positive about it, but it's it's really hard, especially with Grand Edition, because you don't get, you don't get to do that much damage in Grand Edition. They, they try to, like buff and nerf this and that and the other thing and they try to balance everything to the point that you don't see those you don't see those numbers that much um, but maybe it'll work at some point it might work so we'll try it all right Malay how do you like the new empire not bad I didn't think they let twins like us join yes General Zemeckis seems to understand our story Sister, it's Emperor Zemeckis, not General. Oh, you're right. Indeed, it was quite a surprise. Almechia disappeared so quickly. True, but I guess I don't mind. We didn't owe Almechia anything. If Asgaris gets rid of the old ways of thinking, I'm all for it. Well said. But sir, Raguinus, 
you served King Hengist. What happened was unavoidable. From it, the future will grow. But you need not join me. There are other countries you may choose. Never. I would never leave after all you've done for me. Besides, no one would take in twins like us. Do you still worry about being twins? No way, I'm over that. Twins are cursed? What a ridiculous superstition. I see. You would do well to debunk such superstitions by showing your own success. Yes. That's why we need to restore the Balfour family standing quickly. Then we can snub everyone who looked down on us, right, Malay? Yes, sister. Emperor Zemeckis gave us a chance to be knights. It's all thanks to him. We will repair we'll re <laughs> We will repay him by being excellent knights. You said it. Also, success is the quickest path to your goal. Yes. There are many hardships awaiting you, but you must stick together. Be strong without flinching. You will be victorious. Sir Ranguinus. Right. Sisters together forever. Nothing can stop this team. Good, good. Well, that's cool. I never really, I never really knew about that cutscene before. That's a new one to me. Okay. I want to say something class, but nothing class. <laughs> so, all right, we are here. We have to build up a new team, though. So, ah, uh, do we get anything? No, no items. Yeah, man. See, I wasn't, you know, I just was trying this one out to see if I could complete next challenge, but Lance didn't come out to the front lines and it didn't work out the way I thought it might. So, wasn't much else I could do with it. Just gotta, just gotta leave him be for now. Maybe once I get uh, a better footing. So I get a better footing than maybe. But I have to summon so many good things here. So many things. Oh my gosh, wow. So, I don't know. This is this could take a lot longer than I thought. So, I think what I'll do is I'll organize and I'm gonna end it here tonight because I wasn't planning on going for very long. Um, sort of plan on just relaxing tonight. Just didn't want to do a whole lot. <laughs> so, but um, it seemed like, you know, some people were excited to see me start this LP. So, I figured I'd start it today. But I I think I'm gonna call it after the organization phase here. Um, and just uh, enjoy myself tonight so I think I will do that but I have to get some monsters here um, everybody still needs to do some more voting for things whatever has the most votes by next week as far as the night picks are concerned which is top right of the screen if you want to vote for those particular nights that will help me decide one of the nights to be used for the final fight so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Zemeckis against Bullnoil, and you'll get to choose the knights that are going to go fight the snake. So out of those knights on the top, those are like the highest ones picked so far. You can also go pick the Brigandine website too. Um, everybody gets multiple votes on the website, uh, which is kind of nice. But yep, you can help me out. Determine future for Cena. And there's... Here we go. Nope, dude, everybody gets one challenge. One challenge. Not one challenge per video, one challenge. That's it. So, 
that's why I was saying, you know, take your time to think about the challenge because you get one challenge. So I completed your challenge. I still have to complete Nick's challenge, Spider's challenge, and whoever else comes along too. So, yep. Otherwise, this this LP could go on forever. Uh, the Escalio LP went on for quite a long time because I kept doing challenges like every time somebody wanted to give me one. And it, just, it, it, back, it makes me backpedal a lot as far as like being able to push forward and doing progression. Because that last battle there wasn't really necessary at all. It was just I was trying to complete a challenge. That's the only reason I did that. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have attacked it right away. Um, usually, I don't attack the first turn with anybody else but Norgard. But it seemed like it could work. I mean, especially if the lands came out to the front. Then I could have gotten a win, but I wouldn't have stayed there. Because there was no way for me to have enough knights to stay there and hold Orkney too. Just not possible at the moment. So, um, yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. Everybody gets one. Everybody gets one chance. So, I'm still working on Nyx. Nyx is, Nyx is going to be the hardest one to do. I might not be able to complete that. Um, I'm getting a little bit closer with spiders, but uh, if you're coming here later on to watch this video, definitely um, think about a good challenge for me. You know, could see uh, see if I can do it. So I've got a level six merman now, and I think because of that, I'm gonna name the merman after Spider. So, so he wants to challenge to see Poseidon. So let's do that. If he wants to change the name later on, then he can tell me. But. Alright, Spider, there you go. Come back here. See that uh, you got your name. This is your challenge here. I'm going to try to keep this thing alive as long as possible. And hopefully, it'll work out. So, just got to restock. And, uh, the Vampire Lord? Well, I guess. I suppose. Usually I name him D right away. So. I suppose I could give you one of the Vampire Lords. You can be that Vampire Lord. I'll probably level up another one. Name him D. That's usually my thing. I always do that. Okay, All right, give everybody a little star. There you go. There you go, man. You got you got yourself named there. So let's see what else. What else should we give to whom and to what? Um, I want something else here. I don't want any more aquatics on this team. I already have enough. <laughs> I got enough. <laughs> The Tiamat and the Merman are more than enough. So... Yep, it does. It definitely does. So what is that? 55 and 15. So that's 70 points there. I probably need some little things. If I can get some unicorns, it'd be perfect. Nope. I'll just take some guards for now. Wow, my mana is still pretty freaking low. Yikes. Gotta be careful next time. Gotta be very careful. Still no healers yet. No healers at all. What are we gonna do here? 40? Thirty. Oh man. <laughs> I 
I still need stuff for here. Oh man. I am so low with mana. I still have to stack up. Well. Really want some unicorns though. I really, really want some unicorns here. I'm not even i I'm not even filled up yet. 3, 16, 11. You know what? That'll be good. I need something over here. Thirty points. And any more than thirty points though. Maybe. This is the best I'm going to get here. That is the best that I will be able to get. It's really not great. Um, it does give me a forty five. I guess scorpions. All right, well, I guess that's what we got. Where did you go, man? Okay, you get to one. Oh, expert, good job. Okay, ranger. Okay, Cash is going to be a ranger for a little bit. All right, Valkos, have a good sleep, man. Everybody's super tired today. It seems. Usually Wednesdays, it's uh, it's kind of happening, but this Wednesday, everybody's all sleepy and doing so many things, so. Well, if you're coming back here to watch it later, hopefully you've enjoyed. I'm just going to basically summon one more thing here and call it a night. Because that's all I can do. So, I need a little tank. Yeah. Little mini tank here. Hey, Brent. It's been a while. How you doing? Just about to close up shop today. So... It's gonna have to do it for here. I am doing personal challenges from everybody. Just completed Valkus's challenge. Everybody else has one they can give me. Plus, uh, you also get to vote for knights to go and fight the Snake of Chaos. So, as you know, we're playing the Ascaris Empire. And, yep. So, I've already got the teams picked out to fight Bullnoil. But everybody else will get to pick for knights to fight against the Snake of Chaos. So there is a little, there's a little information tab on the top right. You can click and you can vote for the knight if you want. You can also go to the Brigandine website, vote for knights there. I have, a, I have a little, um, I have a form made up for that with a bunch of polls on it. You can go and check that out. So you can vote there if you like. You can vote up here on the top right. Um, but the the most votes I get for next week is going to decide the very next night. So, yeah, dude. Um, yeah, just about to be done here. So you can watch from the beginning and see what's been going on. Basically, I can give you a synopsis, but you can watch it too. Um, uh, Nick gave me a challenge to... 
do a particular thing. So I tried the challenge, but it didn't work out. So I'm gonna have to keep trying until I complete it. If I beat the game and I don't, you know, complete uh, Nick's challenge, then I'll fail that challenge. But I'm gonna try to do it. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, Valquis's challenge I completed. Spider gave me a challenge. I still have to work on. So whoever comes in here, any new subscriber can give me a challenge, and I'll have to try to work that. <laughs> you know, let's see what we can do with it. Um, but uh, yep. So I think everything's good to go. And I think we could set an attack, maybe. Probably should attack to maybe grab some angels. I might attack Cenodon. I might do that to grab some grab some kind of healers, because I need some kind of healer here. And I need to take somebody out quick. Here's the other silver dragon. Okay. Well, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and attack something just to grab just to grab some monsters I want. So I'm bringing everybody along. And we're going to stock up once we hit Senadon. Then hopefully I'll back up. Hopefully nobody will fight me. Let's see, they got one leader that could... They got Viner that could hit me. Two, three. Yeah, they could attack me while I'm gone. But, um... I'll have to risk it. Just Myra Malay and no third night. Okay, we can give that a shot. Mm. I'll have to do it later though. So once I level up Myron Malay a bit, then I'll probably do that later. Because I need to get some I need to get some healers for this team. I really do. It is in serious need of healers. So probably I could take the challenge dude, but I'm gonna have to do it later. So once I get going, because what I wanna do is what I'm basically going to do is I'm gonna take some X against Bullnarm. So I'm gonna level him up to level 29 and then he's gonna sit on defense somewhere. He isn't going to do anything for the rest of the game. And the same for Myron Malay. They're going to do the same thing, too. So, probably once I get them, maybe in their level 20s, then I'll probably work on your challenge, dude. But I'm level up my main team to fight it, so that is Zemeckis, Myron Malay. Um, and then once I get them a little bit higher, then I'll give that a try. But I do need to get some unicorns or angels, something. Something for this team. So something's got to give here, you know? So, no, it is challenging. It's not, not totally impossible. I wouldn't say it's impossible. Because if I play my hand right with the two leaders, I could still take down, I could still take down, a, a, you know, three leaders with a pack or whatever. It's very possible I could still do it, especially with those two, because those two got some good skills. They definitely have some skills. I just need Myra a little bit stronger. 15 or 20, I'll try out the challenge. Depends on how I feel with their hit points and their MP. Right now, MP-wise, I'm happy, but hit point-wise from Myra, I'd love to see her, like, 500, 600 hit points be able to do that, because I'll probably frontline her somewhat, and I'll get enough healers behind that I could probably pull that off, so. Um, yeah, Brent, thanks for the challenge, so. Uh, but I'm doing the challenges throughout the whole LP, so it's not, like, the very next thing, because Valkos, Valkos was here, and he thought, like, you know, I was going to do what I did before by just taking challenges every single moment which I could do but it makes the LP like really 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 long and um, I don't want to do it that long <laughs> I, I don't want it to be as long as, as some of the ones were in the past I'd like them to, to be a little bit shorter you know so it's it's kind of easier for everybody to watch it too you know Yeah, I probably will have to do that too. And that's also what I was thinking also. But right now, she doesn't have any stars for this Vixen class. So once we, she hits 15, then I'll change her over to that so I can have all my juicy Icefall, you know, Fallberg spells and 
all my really extra good stuff too. So probably at 15 you might see something, man. But stick around. So yeah, this will be a this will be a new thing too. So every week I'll be doing this on Wednesdays. Uh, next week will be a bit later. So next week I might not be here right on time to start up at um, because I'm gonna be doing these at about eight o'clock central my time so next week might be nine central my time I might start and so I might start up a little bit later for that um, just because I'm kind of busy and um, in December I'll I will have a vacation so in December there will be a week I won't be here to do anything but other than that you can expect to see this Brigandine LP of Escar's Empire every week at Wednesday at 8 Central Standard Time and so yeah we'll go we'll uh, we'll go from there but next week I might be late so if I'm not here at the specific time probably maybe half an hour hour later um, I'll try to make it here we'll see I, I do have some plans so um, that's really all I have so thanks a lot for sticking around you know as long as you have and uh, tune in for next week and also, if you didn't know, we have multiplayer uh, subscriber gamble on Fridays. On Sundays, too, I'll be doing my um, co-op with Paul. I have a new thing going with Paul, so it'll be uh, Frank and Paul Sundays. We'll be doing games, so we'll choose what games we want to play. Um, we'll play, try to beat them, too. We might throw in some fighter games sometimes. But for right now, last week we did a Final Fantasy 1. So we did that last week, and that was a lot of fun. And so next week we're going to just pick up Final Fantasy 1 and try to get through the game. It'll just be a weekly thing. So, yep. That's all I've got. And also, um, the Crow Show might be on tomorrow night. I think it will be. <laughs> I've been having some problems trying to get that going. Because uh, World War II came out and my other friend really likes it. I like it too, so we've been playing that a lot. But um, probably the Crow Show will be up this week. I think we'll have some things to talk about. So tomorrow night... Crow Show, Beyond. And, um, yep, that's all I got to plug. So, thanks, Brent, for being here. Thanks, Valkos, uh, Nick, Spider, and everybody else that showed up. And everybody else that shows up later to watch us at the end. Uh, thanks a lot for watching through all these LPs. Uh, hopefully, we'll get done with all of them and uh, try out some new things. So, that's all I got to say. So, have a good night. I'll talk to you later.